Hello everyone, welcome back to our video. Today we'll be doing potentiometer. Basically, today's video will be about the functionality of a new component that we'll be talking about today, which is called potentiometer. So without further ado, let's click create new circuits and then change the exercise name to exercise 2.3. Okay, now potentiometer is basically something that you can control it resistant value basically when you have a resistor in real life the resistance value is fixed but potential meter is something that you can change the pot the resistant value even when it is running so let's start by putting in Arduino Uno and a breakboard this time we'll put it below the Arduino because we will be using the power Okay, and then after that, we will use LED to show the value. Remember that in our previous video, we were talking about RGB LED, and that when we only switch on or off a few of its legs, we can only produce a total of 7 plus 1 color, which is 7 main color provided by the RGB LED, and one of it is black, which is when everything is turned off. But RGB LED can be used to produce much more color than that. It can technically produce any color. Okay? And in order to do that, we'll need something that can change the, uh, the amount of voltage and ampere inside the one of the lane. So one way we can do it is use something called potentiometer. Before that, let's try something first. First, you will still need a resistor that is at 200 ohm okay we can connect a resistor this way then afterward let's say we put one LED over here and then we can connect the resistor to the LED then connect the LED to the ground you can press start simulation and expect that the LED will bright uh, will be brightened up okay but this time while it is running, you can click on the resistor and try to change the value. When you change it to anything low, uh, anything that's too low, let's say 1 ohm, the LED will be broken. Okay, But let's say if we change it to 1000, you will notice that the LED is less brighter than when it is 200. Okay, Which means when the value over here increases, it is less bright over here. When we increase this to 10,000, it's even less. Okay, so it's getting darker as you increase the value. So we will actually utilize this to change the brightness of the LED, which is how you change the brightness of one individual leg of RGB LED in order to change it into different color. So to do that, first we return it to 200. Okay, we can stop simulate now and we'll remove the LED since it is not what we want to do today. Okay, also remove the two wire that we have put in earlier. After that, we'll need to put in potentiometer which is actually just right below LED. Okay, let's say we put, we put it here. And remember to change its resistance. Because 250 kilo ohm is actually very big, okay, we change it to 10 kilo ohm in this example. Afterwards, we'll need LED as well. Actually, if you don't want to delete the LED, just now you can just move it here. The way to connect and use the potentiometer is you connect the resistor to its left leg. Okay, connect resistor to its left leg, and then connect the middle leg to the positive leg of your LED because this is where the power come in but we will use the middle leg which is called wiper and then after that on the negative leg we'll do the same thing where we have always done that is to connect it to the ground now when you press start simulation you can now change the brightness by basically twisting the knob on potentiometer so what is potentiometer? It is basically the device that can 
change the resistance value easily because in real life we only have resistor by itself the value is fixed we can't really change the value by doing anything so we need to have different resistor for different value potential, uh, potential meter provide a very convenient way to do that so for example the fan in your house it has a dif different value that you can turn to it is basically a potential meter so when you turn to a certain value for example when the resistance is higher then the strength of the fan will be lower similarly when you if you have a radio at home the potential meter is also used to change the volume or change the channel basically provide different resistance to the circuits that you are building okay so that's for today's exercise we'll go to the summary now in conclusion we can use potential meter if our circuits require something that can provide varying resistance by changing the value of resistance in potential meter we can vary the amount of voltage flowing into the device that we are connected that's all for today thank you for watching our video and see you on our next exercise